Good afternoon, everyone. Coming to you from Charleston, South Carolina. I'm here at the Unitarian Church. And the reason I am filming from this church location, here's a Gage Hall. And they have a little food box with some SpaghettiOs in there in case anybody gets hungry. So I'm coming to you live from the, live for me right now, from the church because I came here yesterday because I just was wandering the streets of Charlotte and I happened to come across this church and their cemetery. And I took a ton of photos and it was so cool. I thought I would come back and do a video about it. And so here we go. Unitarian Church, the oldest Unitarian Church in the South. I really could not tell you what makes a Unitarian a Unitarian, as opposed to a Methodist or a Protestant, but whatever. So in memory of the enslaved workers who made these bricks and helped build our church circa 1774 to 1787. All right. So the cemetery is really cool because it has lots of old graves from the 1800s. I didn't see any from the 1700s because those are probably just too old and worn out and you wouldn't be able to see them any longer. Right, here we go. E.C. Barber, 1868. So what makes the cemetery cool in my eyes is one, it isn't perfect. Like the trees, the plants are overgrowing. Not in every place. You can see there's trails because it does get a lot of visitors. But there are very nice headstones. There's some nice monuments. And at the end of this video, I will show you my favorite part. So here we go. I don't know if there's anybody famous here or notable. There might be like, you know, a, a scene a Charleston, you know, individual who's very, who's very prominent, but I, you know, I don't know. You know, they're really nice. Nice headstones, 1908, Elizabeth Kerr, 1865, 1817, right there. That little tiny one right there, 1817, 1824. Anthony Toomer Graves and also Eliza Graves. There are a lot of people with the name Graves. A lot of people. I could I could put together a pack of photos with only people with the name Graves. 1860, a little kid. Ooh, that's a cool one. I like the little kid praying on it. And here we go, some of the more recent people, right here. And it's so pretty in here. You have beautiful flowers, you have palm trees, you have beautiful brushes. It's just a very, very lovely cemetery. And if you look here, on to my left, where I'm scrolling, that's a different cemetery. That one is St. John's Cemetery. Which actually I thought was pretty cool too. But we'll focus on the Unitarian Church's Cemetery. So when you walk around, 1868, ooh, I didn't see this one yesterday. Yeah, 
you can see that the the plants are growing over but it's so pretty though that you know personally i prefer that the prefer to see if the plants are growing over than all those perfectly manicured lawns and everything see, that one might be very old yeah i walked down here yesterday 1860 i think that said 1904 memory of our mother 1894 and you see right here in the in the grass there are some tombs that are hiding in the grass Ooh, i didn't even notice that see there's a couple hidden like super hidden down there here's another one i don't know I, I like it. Open faith, open hearts, open minds. <clears throat> it's been raining here. So you can see how it's all wet. It's a little bird fountain. There is the church in the background there. There's like an annex to the church. And I'm sorry if the video is a little bit long. There's St. John's Cemetery over there. And here in Charleston, the uh, all the cemeteries, there are tons of them all over the place because they're all so associated with the person's church. So the people who are buried are people who were like part of the church. 1998 see all this beautiful beautiful plant life everywhere i think it's just lovely here and so like you have all these churches sorry i'll get back to my point you have all these churches around in the city and so, in their courtyards, they have cemeteries. All right. Let's go walk through this area, because I think this is cool. Like, right here. We're coming close to my favorite part. You have the overhanging... I don't know, I can't remember what type, like the moss is overhanging. It looks so beautiful. I took photos of this, of course, but it looks absolutely beautiful and amazing. And I love it. Then you have this nice dark area where the trees are hanging overhead. You have the graves here, but you have the nice paved area. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. And here comes the sides of the moss hanging from the trees over there. Here's my other favorite part coming up right now. When I discovered this yesterday, I didn't discover the front of the church. I actually just ran, ran, ran across the back and there was a little pathway. And so I walked through this pathway that we're coming on there are people on it so we'll get there in a second there's the graves everywhere and so you have this pathway that leads and there's the nice fences when they close in the evening. You have the nice gardens. And if you look up, it's all tree lined, so it's nice and cool because it gets so hot. And on the left hand side, you have people's houses. 
which would be very nice but kind of annoying I would imagine to have people walking past all the time like me but that's the way it goes so you have this lovely pathway that leads out or in depending on which way you're coming from we got the lights beautiful shrubbery